Okay, so we're going to take you from this uh, kind of cosmic journey that was very exciting and energetic, and we're going to explore some different literature that really encouraged this group to learn how to play expressively, which is a really tough thing for young musicians to do, and they just kind of jumped at the opportunity. So we're super proud of them. Sorry, I don't know how to turn the teacher mode off. We're super proud of them for exploring that part of their musical capability at a very young age. Um, you'll hear them playing more lyrical lines. Hopefully you'll hear them playing softer dynamic levels. Um, and you'll hear them playing throughout the band with moving lines that trade off and uh, kind of just being really aware of that, that melodic activity as it travels through the band. This is an African-American air. big stylistic shift. Um, this piece tell, tells the story of Mount Mazama. Um, oops, so sorry. There's not a lot of room on the stage, guys. Um, tells the story of Mount Mazama, which erupted um, several thousand years ago and turned into what we now know as Crater Lake. Um, so you'll hear at the beginning of the piece a whole lot of suspension building to a really neat, um, unconducted middle section um, with some pretty free um, music patterns from the students. And then um, immediately after that, the calm after the eruption of the volcano. So that's kind of cool. Um, <laughs> this next piece is Fires of Mazama. <laughs>
again um, for all of your support of these amazing humans that I get the privilege of working with every single day, um, for driving them um, everywhere for after school rehearsals, supporting them in all of the things that we do with band, jazz band, and, and the like, um, and getting them where they are today. They couldn't have done it without you guys. Can you say thanks to your parents? Just a quick reminder before we finish out this concert that we are going to hang on to them afterwards um, and have them help us clear the stage. Um, their exit ticket, so you will know that they have done their part in cleaning up and getting ready to go if they have a candy cane. Okay? So if they have a candy cane, they are good to go home. Um, our final piece on this awesome concert is Copper Creek March. supporting these young people. Quick reminder, we're going to ask them to put their chairs, stands, and instruments away before we release them to you. You are more than welcome to hang here and get a photo opportunity with them. We would love for you to have that as a keepsake. We promised them that we would plug ice cream after the concert. So if you feel so inclined, I hear there's a pretty good ice cream spot right up the street. Um, and I'm sure lots of them would like to hang together with their friends after the concert. Um, 